Now that I've got the lawn mowed and all the leaves picked up and the flower beds all trimmed out and the perennials cut down, now I want to apply an application of Humate. Humate is supposed to be the next best thing in lawn care. It's, I've been putting it down for about two years and I am still up in the air as to whether or not it does a lot for the lawn. I do know that my grass is a lot greener than my neighbors. It greens up a lot quicker in the spring. It stays green a lot longer in the fall. And it could have something to do with the humate. I don't know. The humate's supposed to help the roots retain moisture and help the soil retain moisture. It's supposed to be really good for the soil. This is what it looks like. It's like kind of black pellets. It kind of looks like something that has been mined from the earth. It's a carbon-based material and it is comprised of humic acid. So this bag here says that this was derived from humic shale and it contains 45% humic acid derived from humic shale ore. So humane is not fertilizer and so it does it will not burn your lawn so you can put a lot of humate down on the lawn and it's supposed to help with hard soils to help soften the soil up it's supposed to condition the soil and make it better and easier for the grass to grow a lot of people have a lot of good things to say about humate i don't really know much about it i just know that it's good for the lawn so i put it down there is a YouTuber that made a video about humic acid and this humate material. Um, Matt Martin, the grass factor, he put together a video talking all about humate and the benefits of humate or humic acid and how it's supposed to help the lawn. And I'll link to that video in the description. And I thought that that video was quite awesome actually. So anyways, so I'm gonna put the humate down. I'm gonna put it down at about maybe 10 pounds per thousand feet. I've got a 50 pound bag here, and then here's a 50 pound bag. I think I'm gonna put about a bag and a half over this, um, this 7,500 section, and then maybe the other half bag on the other side of that uh, walkway. So here we go. So I've got the humate here, that's about about three quarters of the way open on the spreader. I think that's about the setting that I'm gonna try it out at. So I've got this humate here, it's about, well, about 40 pounds or so. That's not quite about 50 pounds. When it's about 50 pounds, it'll normally fill up the hopper, so it's probably about 40 pounds. I want this to cover about half of this section probably going to do about 60 or 70 pounds of humate on this section and that'll sit all winter long this will probably be the final application of humate that I'll put down I put my last application of fertilizer down last week I'm not going to be putting any more fertilizer down and so I'm just gonna put the humate down and this will probably be my last application of product applied with the, the spreader This humate doesn't burn the lawn, so you can put it down pretty heavy and not have to worry about that. It's really good also for ornamentals, flower beds, um, vegetable gardens, and crappy soil. It's supposed to help um, condition soil, bad soil, clay soil, and kind of help it become better soil. So, here we go. So that's setting on the fertilizer spreader. It's pretty heavy. I made two passes and it's already about a third of the way gone of what I had in there. So I think I'm gonna dial it back a little bit and so I can make a lot more passes. I'm gonna put some more humate in there. So the bag here says you can put up to 50 pounds of this per 1,000 square feet. I'm not planning on doing that, but it just says to put the spreader on the maximum setting. And let her rip. I'm, I'm shooting for about 10 to 12 pounds per thousand square feet. So 
I'm gonna dial this down a little bit. Try that. The humic acid, humate, is supposed to be the next best thing to fertilizer for your lawn. Everybody raves about it, so I keep putting it down and I probably will continue to put it down. I pay about $13, $12 for about a 50 pound bag and I need about two bags for this 7,500 square foot section. I've got several more bags in my garage that I'm gonna add over here to this section and then I'm gonna go with that. Today's been a good day. I've got a lot accomplished in the lawn. I'm very happy with the results that I've been able to do. Appreciate you guys watching these videos and let me know how you like them and what you guys wanna see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.